And when, you know when you park those cars in the sun and they've got those plastic seats and when you sit on them, it basically removes your skin, <laughs> but even if you have shorts on. So we thought, oh, okay, what are we going to do to make this? So we started building it and we thought, oh, we'll have a little LED, LED screen so it can pop up, so we can shuffle through the different songs. Um, we'll get a big solar panel and we'll pop it on the roof because that'll actually get suck all the, it'll be like a fan that'll suck all the air out of the, out of the, um, out of the car so it's not too hot. So it doesn't burn the circuit board when it's sitting there in 48 degree heat. We had it all worked out. So we started building it. We're like, how awesome is this? And then I made, uh, our branch manager while I was working at the, in this tech office, he goes, hey, look, come look at this. And uh, it was the iPod. And it was like this big. <laughs> and we were like, ours is this big. <laughs> so we went, oh, well, forget that. So I went straight in the bin. And um, he had fond memories of that. But like, you know, uh, I, I don't know. I, it's amazing how much the iPods have changed. You know, I was making a joke earlier in the week about people with the old cassette Walkmans. You know, you went on a long distance travel, and if you wanted to actually, if like on a flight to America or you're on a train and you're going to be on it for like nine hours, you had to take something like 15 cassette tapes with you. Uh, you know, and you better be hopeful that you're actually going to enjoy those songs as opposed to fast forward or rewinding, and the next bit the tape loops and gets caught, and the next bit you fling it out. Well, now you can what? Oh, I can't, well, actually, I'll just put your hand up if you, you've got an iPod and just, I'll, just, I'll just pick the three people out. How many songs do you actually have on your iPod? Just, oh, you. 921. Oh, that's, that's not much, really. Is so it? precise, though. Yeah. How about you? 35. Oh, 35. Who's got more, who's got more than 1,000? <laughs> uh, i got about 30, th uh, 3,000 songs. 3,000 songs, that's all right. I will just say one more. How about you? Um, 115. 150,000? No, I said 1,000. Okay. That's all right. <laughs> the only thing that's pretty amazing that something that big, you can basically walk around and basically have a back catalogue of so many different uh, bands and you can pretty much go anywhere as opposed to what this old magnetic tape. So it's pretty cool. I'll hand it back to you. Thanks. I think that also goes part of the way to explain why you can't customise your Mac. They make them very small, they make them very thin, they fit in what they think they need. They might not always get it right, but they're always improving. And to keep it small and to keep it good, they do it the way they do. This guy in the Mexican wrestling rounds with the cape over here, I don't think he's got a microphone, but I really want to hear what he has to say. I'll give you my mic if you want to come up here. Coming down, coming down, it's all good. Oh, never mind. Watch out. Um, firstly, more of a comment, but you said to go after the tablet PC. I have an EPC at home. I run Ubuntu on it. Never get a virus. Yeah. Also, also, I feel your entire presentation was just a form of propaganda. Propaganda. Uh, take the mic off him, come on. Thank you. Actual questions, please, guys. So well done to the guy running Ubuntu on his EPC. I think that's awesome. You know why? Because he's different to everybody else. And he's not afraid. He's not afraid. There's things you can do on, on Mac and Windows that you can't even do on Ubuntu. But he's happy with what he's got. And that's awesome. You thought I was giving you propaganda? I'm sorry, man. I'm trying to show you that the Mac is capable. The number one question that I get with the Macs is, number one, why is it so expensive? Number two, what if there's something I want to do that I can't? I don't think they are that expensive. You guys get student discounts as well. If you compare the hardware to a Mac to the hardware on a Windows, the same hardware, don't give me four gig of RAM, the same hardware, the same RAM. It's not that much more expensive. And then when you factor in, you're not going to get viruses. Do you disagree? Nobody bothers to make him. Who was the guy who Shut said up, that please. he wanted to make his own rig? You're going to need title to an opinion. You do. You do. <laughs> Ready for a new question, I think. Anybody who's got microphones, who wants to dictate who gets to answer? Here we How go. How many games can you get on the Mac compared to the PC? Sorry, say again? How many games can you get on the Mac compared to the PC? Not as many. Not as many, but at the same time, if you want to make anything, for that bad boy, you need one. That's true. If you want to make an iPhone game, if you want to make an iPod game, if you want to make an iPad game, you need an Apple computer. Who thinks that's unfair? What if you want to make an Xbox game? Do you need an Xbox? Yes, yes you do. How are you going to test it? 
Next question. Um, if I, I'm a massive garage band user, and I was wondering where can I get more instruments? Because I uh, you do use loops and uh, other things like that. I was wondering where I can get more of them. You can buy add-on packs. I think you can buy them online as now, maybe. Yeah, as you well. can just get them from the uh, yeah the Apple yeah. website. Apple website. We might have them in store if you're lucky. We can order them in otherwise. It's great to use GarageBand. Well done. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes, more rant. No, okay, no, no. so Pete, yep. um, you were saying before how iPods store so much, and that's great. Other things do that too. Other things that are a lot cheaper and a lot better. Hang, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I'd like to actually say a few things to people. Everyone seems to be getting fired up, I think, unnecessarily about a few things. Um, now, I just made a statement about iPods just being how, how, good, how good that is. I wasn't making a statement that they were better than anything else. I wasn't saying that they were actually better or, or worse than anything. So uh, there's a few people here, and I know you, see, you get passionate about stuff, and we've seen that as well with the Sony and Nintendo stuff. So just everyone just needs to relax a bit as well. I think we're just he's here to actually take, just actually talk to you about Max, what they can do. I know you all have an opinion. I've seen a few people who just actually made a few rude comments just being smart, Alex. Anyone does that? Remember what I said on Monday or Saturday? Yeah, you'll be going home. So show a bit of respect. I, I don't want to actually have to do that. But remember, you're not in a playground. A lot of people here, you know, um, on their free time to actually just showcase some stuff for you. So just think of that. So think about some intelligent questions because we just seem to get some people who just want to fire off that aren't I better than this or, you know, up yours Mac or up yours PC. See, I, don't, I don't think it's a question of better or worse. Yeah. It's just different. I mean, yeah, it's yeah, different. It's and that's what this week's about. So everyone just take a breath. Think about what you're going to say next and be a bit respectful, okay? Good. Thanks, guys. You. <laughs> okay, next question. We're getting there. Hello. Hi. Um, the only question I want to know is, why doesn't the iPod Touch, iPhone and iPad have flash? Ooh, controversial. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, yeah, with the, yeah. Why doesn't it have flash is the question. There's a few answers. There's, there's a bit of rivalry between Apple and Adobe at the moment. But flash ruins your battery life. Flash is buggy. I run Flash on my Mac, and every time it crashes, it's always something to do with Flash. I don't want that. I've got things on my Mac that block Flash because I don't want it to crash. I don't want it to run like garbage. So at the moment, they've just made a blanket rule. No Flash until it gets better, at least. Not to mention the fact that Flash is very prone to like, having very nasty things hidden away in the code as well. So. Absolutely. So like I said, Macs don't get viruses. That's not 100% true. There are a few viruses out there for Macs. Nothing compared to what there is out there for Windows. Well, it's, it's, for my money, it's more to do with market share because PCs, you have to have them in every office space. If there's only 10% of the market, people aren't going to go for that when they can get one little bit of code and get millions upon millions, you know what I mean? And it's, uh, it, it's, it's, uh, what's what? it's specialised tech, that's what I always call it. So. That's true, that's true. Hi. When you said head flash is buggy, it's never crashed for me ever on Linux. Okay. <laughs> in meaning, so if, if it can run stable on Windows, and Linux, and mm. we, yeah. then the what's question? the difference? <laughs> but also, I'll ask, other, another right. thing is, one thing I can say yep. really good about Apple is, I don't think anyone other than Apple could have pulled off the iPad or the iPhone the way Apple did. Okay. They can pull stuff off. Right. Which someone else pulled it off, but I don't think they could. Okay, cool. So, so you're on Linux, that's, that's great. You guys well, know we're like cousins technically, aren't we? I mean, Unix and <laughs> Linux, I don't know. It's how it rolls, isn't it? So Mac has a, has a Linux underpinning anyway. So it's based on Linux. It's built up on top of it. So, I mean, look, you say that Flash runs stably on Windows. I don't know that it does. It might, might run better than it does on a Mac. But if you've got a certain set of tires that you want and they don't fit on your car, what are you going to do? Are you going to buy a different car? Well, I don't know, might find a set of tires that you like just as good. Was that hey. another question? Yeah, hi. Um, I have a Mac at home. And I use it to watch lots of movies and things. Cool. I use Plex at the moment. Me too. Um, do you suggest anything else? Other than Plex? Yeah. There's, there's, there's a program called Boxy. Uh, Boxy I don't really like because it wants to make recommendations and it wants you to see what you're watching on Facebook and all kinds of other stuff. So I like Plex. Uh, I think it's really cool. It ties in with uh, all the other software like Front Row as well. iTunes content's pretty easy. 
So I showed you a picture of a Mac Mini before. I've got a Mac Mini hooked up to my TV, and I just watch movies off it, listen to music, show photos. It's great. Next question. Uh, hi. I was hi. just wondering. I'm a Mac owner, and oh. um, I want to know. I went to Apple Mac the other day to buy a cover for my net Mac, but they said that they don't uh, like sell those covers anymore because it's an older version. Right. So I was wondering where I could buy one other than eBay. Oh <laughs> uh, no, I was going to say eBay. You've got the old white MacBook, is it? Yeah, I mean, eBay, the problem with the Mac stores, and we're guilty of it a little bit at Comp now as well, is that we try and have the newer stuff. Obviously, when people come in and buy a computer, they're new customers that we can rely on being there. We can't rely on someone coming in with a four-year-old computer. We may have some floating around. My suggestion would be eBay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Next. Hi. Um, Hi. Okay, I'm both a Mac and a PC user, and Great. I find that 